right, so let's take a deep dive into this hive and just really try to diagnose what it really needs this time of year and, and really try to identify some detail around you know, what I look, like, look at inside of a hive to tell what they need. So this hive had the honey pulled off of it about three weeks ago. The deep box was put back up on top uh, and they've been fed about three gallons of syrup and they've had a mite treatment put on to this hive. So I always take a quick look at, okay, what do I have going up on, going on up in this top brood box? And this hive has, look at all that stored honey or stored syrup. It's got a lot. I mean, this is what every frame looks like up here in this top box. So with this hive in particular, we had pulled all the honey even out of the second box, which usually you don't want to do, uh, but we did this time. And they've completely filled this box back up with the syrup that we have been feeding them. And uh, that's great. So a hive like this, they've got this top box about, let's see, about two thirds full of syrup. Which is sufficient, you know, we can really slow down on the feeding because they've got, you know, 30 to 40 pounds of honey or syrup stored up in that second box, which is kind of what we're looking for. So let's go a little bit deeper here and see what's going on in the bottom brood box. There was no honey stored at all in, oh, I'm sorry, there was no bees stored brood wow i can't get my words out there was no brood stored up in that second box but we do have some brood in this bottom box you can see we've got some good cat brood there there's some more good cat brood but one of the things that i really look for is beyond the brood is uh do they have pollen stores and then what quantity of pollen and i'm really looking for you know a cumulative half a frame of pollen or more. So if I were to add all the pollen together in the hive, I want to have at least a half a frame of pollen and I want to have multicolored pollen. So when I'm looking at this hive, I'm seeing a number of things. I'm seeing some decent cat brood, as you can see. I'm not seeing a lot of eggs and larvae, which I do want to see and I'm seeing virtually no stored pollen. So if you look at this frame, there's just no stored pollen going on. There's a little bit, you know, maybe 20 or 30 cells of, that have pollen in them in each frame. But, you know, when I look at a frame like that, that has some eggs and larvae on it, I really want to see some pollen around the outside edge and maybe a, a good band of pollen and I'm just not seeing that. So this hive has, let's see, one, two, three, maybe four, about four frames of, of uh, brood, but the population is fantastic and I really want to see a little bit more brood than that and I bet there isn't more than a hundred cells full of pollen throughout the entire hive. So this is a hive that I believe is a fantastic candidate for a pollen patty because the bee population is good. They've got plenty of syrup, so they're fed enough carbs. They've got some brood, but you know, very little pollen. And all the pollen I am seeing is pretty much just one or two colors. And I really want to see that multicolored pollen uh, and, and at least a cumulative half frame of it. So a hive like this, they've got 30 pounds of stores up in their top brood box. So we're good on syrup. They've got a mite treatment in place. So I'm not really worried about mites. My goal is to give them a pollen patty and I'll reduce down the feeding to nothing. I probably won't feed this hive anything for the next couple of weeks because they've already got 30, 40 pounds in their second brood box. So I'll give them a pollen patty. I'll come back in seven days and I'll probably give them another one. 
A good strong hive like this that's a deep box full of bees or more should eat through a one pound pollen patty in about a week or less. So I'll give them a pollen patty about once a week and you'll be amazed after about three weeks of doing that they'll probably have much healthier looking brood and a lot more developing brood in, in this hive. And that's important, especially as they start rearing the generation of bees that are going to be surviving the winter. So nutrition is very, very important this time of year. So they're getting some pollen patties and uh, they should be in much better shape brood wise in the coming weeks.